let's just have a quick um, chat about caring for your merino. So all your merino garments this year, the new collection, James designed these beautiful cards that go inside and the back of that has all your care information. So all of the merino garments have washing instructions um, but there's more detailed um, here. So you know it's designed with a thing so you can actually like pin it up in your laundry, um, pin it up somewhere, keep it because that's all your good stuff there. So merino is not like cotton, you do have to wash it really carefully according to the instructions. I mean we do, we are busy humans and we you know try to we buy good quality merino so that it lasts but you do still have to look after it. The things to be wary for um, is do not use anything like nappy sand or bleach or laundry powder any of that anything that's like white <laughs> don't put it anywhere near your merino because it will eat holes in it. That's not an exaggeration we do see it all the time We've even had um, returns of merino that have big bleach marks on them and people say, I definitely didn't soak it. It's like, well, it didn't bleach itself, but bleach, nappy sand, any of those sort of products should not be anywhere near your merino. Use, um, you want to use a good quality liquid wool wash, which is different to like, you know, a fabric softener or a delicate laundry detergent. It's got to be a wool wash. I use Eco Store, or I use the e eucalyptus. I'm not going to remember what it's called. It's a eucalyptus one in a kind of brown bottle, but it's got to be a wool wash. Um, the Eco Store one is really nice because it's unscented. I personally can't stand my clothes smelling like laundry powder. Or it makes me sneeze. So go for the unscented um, or a really light eucalyptus one is nice. If you get um, stains on your merino, still do not soak them in nappy sand. Just soaking them in um, water um, sometimes will will get a stain out because it'll just loosen the, you know, loosen the dirt or whatever it is. Um, and obviously, wash washing your merino. If you get a mark, if you spill something on it, wash it there and then. Go and soak it and, um, you know, just gently zhuzh it around in some some warm water. You might get it out just with that. Whereas if you leave it and then try and scrub it out later, that's going to be much harder. I um, like trust the old Sard Wonder Soap, which you can buy at the supermarket if you're lucky. Or even just um, like an eco store cake of soap, something like that. Or even a little bit of hand soap, something that's gentle enough to use on your skin um, that you might wash your hands with. Something like that is going to be much more gentle than something like nappy sand. Uh, the other thing you can try is for stains is a paste made of baking soda and water. Go a bit old school, gently massage that in and then soak it and then wash it. And also the best thing for stains is sunshine. So give it a wash as best you can. Um, and then hang it on the line and that sunshine will often get stuff out. That's with wool babes, that's our number one tip for getting marks out of wool babes is just leave it out in the sun for a bit. But do be mindful with um, this colour of merino. If you um, leave this out in the sun, it can, cream merino is a bit notorious for getting sun damaged. You'll get like sun spots on it. Um, so in terms of hanging, drying your merino, don't tumble dry it, you will shrink it, it is wool after all. I dry all my merino pretty much on an airing rack inside, we just have one um, by a window and then when it's really sunny you just move it around. And, um, yeah, so I like to dry it flat or on an airing rack, you can obviously hang it on the clothesline, but you do just need to be um, careful about how you peg it because Merino is um, it is reasonably delicate, and so if you like fold over the shoulders on a suit and then stick some crappy old plastic pegs on it, you could make holes in it by doing that. So if you're pegging it, peg it carefully by the cuffs, um, so that you're not putting it like into actually within the garment. And what else? The other thing that we get real problems with people returning. Um, 
their merino or emailing us photos saying your merino's poor quality, it's got holes in it. It's actually not our merino, it's actually bugs. And so the thing that causes the most holes in merino, way more holes in merino than laundry powder problems, is bugs. And the bugs that you need to be wary of are moths and silverfish. Um, and so if you've got moths in your house, I, I always have them in my pantry, always have moth traps. Um, if you're prone to moths or silverfish, you do need to deal with it, otherwise they are going to eat holes in your merino. So every year, at this time of the year, we get people um, who have put their merino away for the summer, and then they get it out and they say, oh, this merino's poor quality because look at all these holes in it. And it's not our fault that you've got you've got bugs in your house that eat holes in your merino. So um, like. Amelia's showing you some holes, pictures, <laughs> and we'll post, it's hard to see there, but we'll post some photos so you can see what um, what the bug hole, moth holes look like. They make like a round hole, um, which then turns into a ladder. And so one recommendation is that if you're storing your merino, or even if you've got it, wherever you've got it, in the drawers or in your wardrobe, um, they hate lavender so put a few sprigs of lavender or if you've got a little lavender sachet that's toxic um, to moths and silverfish and they will stay away and hopefully your merino won't get holes in it or the other thing too just is if you're hand washing merino it's all designed that you can um, gentle machine wash it so you want to do a gentle cycle or you want to do a wool cycle um, but if you are hand washing it, one of the things that can be not good for merino is if you hand wash it and then you go like this, give it a real, you know, hand wringing is way harder on fabric than, um, you know, than a gentle spin in your cycle. So just be wary of that.